I'm Rob, and this is Andrew, and we are the co-founders of HipSwap. So how many people have uh, jumped through the 15 or more steps required to post something on Craigslist or eBay? Yeah, a lot of us? Well, we actually think it should take only three steps. So let's shoot uh, this hat uh, using the HipSwap iPhone app. And uh, step one will be to shoot it. Let's see if we got a picture up there. No picture yet. Let's switch to the iPhone app. OK. All right. Step one, here we go. We're going to shoot it. It's that easy that we can't even get it up on the screen. All right. Our first technical difficulty of the day. All right. Let's shoot to the, uh, let's shoot to the three. So, yeah. Step one, we're going to shoot it. And we're going to take you to the screen. The step two is to price it, $20. Step three is to uh, title it, and we're going to call this the ugly brown hat. And we post it to the marketplace, and it shows up on the HipSwap website. Now, something you may all not know about our friend here, Jason Calacanis, but he actually loves ugly brown hats. So he finds the hat on HipSwap, and uh, of course he has to have it, and he adds it to his cart. He clicks Pay Now, and the second unique thing, besides really easy posting, is local pickup and delivery. Local pickup and delivery, second unique thing about HipSwap. We found with our beta users in Los Angeles, they told us time and time again that the most difficult thing about being in a local marketplace like Craigslist is the meetup. Either they don't have uh, enough time or it's too far to drive or they simply, uh, they simply don't want to meet up with strangers. So Jason schedules his hat for delivery and within a few days, the hat arrives. But you see, not only does Jason love hats, it turns out Jason is a big hat collector, which is really cool because the third unique thing about HipSwap is curated collections. Now I can imagine that Jason could find uh, hundreds more hats on Craigslist or eBay, but where else but here on HipSwap can you find such a beautifully curated collection? So that's HipSwap. Really easy to post local pickup and delivery, and curated collections. HipSwap combines the power of, the local, of local commerce with local pickup and delivery and the amazing shopping experience of Zappos and the beauty of Pinterest. We're really excited to be launching today out of our pilot city, Los Angeles, in seven major cities, and we'd love for you to join us. Come sign up at hipswap.com or uh, download the free iPhone or Android app today. Thank you. Questions, um, thoughts? I like the uh, local delivery thing. It's interesting. That's an interesting idea. If it's local in your neighborhood, uh, we're trying to sell a bed, and I don't want creepy people that I found on suspicious behavior uh, in my home because I have children. So it's an interesting idea to be able to sell something and get and not have to deal with um, people think, yeah. you know, trooping through your home. That's one thing that's good. But w one of the things is trusting the stuff. You know, that's an ugly hat. Do I know I'm going to get it? Is it? Do they? De do you delay payment? Like on Airbnb, they delay the payments and stuff like that. So um, we've integrated uh, PayPal and credit card, and we do a delayed payment where that by uh, the person has to have received the money. We make sure that it has actually been received and paid for until we'll actually release it. We've also built a driver app that will, in fact, inform the uh, driver as to whether or not the payment, and the driver has to substantiate uh, the payment before he releases it to the, uh, to the buyer. Does it require the driver? <clears throat> does it require the driver? It does not. It's a great question. Um, so on HipSwap, you can actually receive your uh, merchandise three ways. Uh, you, can, you can decide to um, do the meetup if you trust the meetup. You can choose delivery, or in fact, uh, launching today, we've uh, included shipping as well. So there's a shipping option that gives you, uh, you can put in the amount and uh, have it shipped uh, to the buyer. Second thing is the name seems very limiting. I mean, you're, like, you're talking about brown hats and hipsters, so like, 
I mean, why is it just hipsters? This is a better, Cra Craigslist sucks in terms of its experience, so why are you limiting it to hipsters? In, in your name, in your, the, the, the mustache on the truck, why? Um, we don't really see it as limiting to hipsters. I mean, clearly we're launching Feels that way. in areas that, um, that are really focused on home and fashion. We think that people in areas like this are, have a lot of stuff that they want to actually exchange. And this is a very social commerce uh, marketplace. And so that's a really important thing in how people engage. And that's kind of how we focused on uh, the brand. I just advise you to broaden it out. Yeah. Don't be so limited in, yeah. in that way. How, how, much does it, how much does it cost? Uh, so HipSwap is free to post, and it's uh, a 3.5% uh, sales fee on then, every transaction. And it, what if there's delivery? In and so delivery, um, right now we've been uh, testing delivery for the last uh, four or five weeks in Los Angeles. We have a promotional introductory price of $5, and we're going to be scaling that out over time based on the size of the... Uh, size of the package. And what's your, what is your actual cost of delivery end up being? We're actually working with a couple of partners right now and building some software to actually scale that out. We haven't decided on actu the actual price of delivery yet going forward because we're coming out with some exciting uh, partnerships in about uh, two, three months to scale it across the country. And how do you compete with the larger retailers that are doing some of the stuff, eBay and others? Because it's, uh, you know, you've got to get a lot of stuff in there, I would assume. I mean, I was looking on some of HipSwap stuff, and some people had, like, bag of dimes and stuff like that, um, which is a very attractive item to someone, I'm sure. But um, what, how do you keep the flow of merchandise? Because that's really what would make it attractive, like cool merchandise from people. Like, do you have curate people that have nice, cool stuff or stores that might? or Right. So... Um the, the one of the most unique things that we feel about you, HipSwap, is the curation. Uh, we encourage everyone to uh, put whatever they want into the marketplace and buy and sell it, but it's very important to us to curate the front end of the marketplace. We're also building some curation tools, um, sort of uh, crowdsourced curation tools that will actually bring what we think some of the more beautiful stuff to the front of the marketplace. Right now, we're doing most of that curation ourselves. Could you have stores? Could vintage yes. stores and stuff like Th that? Thank you for, for asking that. Um, You're welcome. We currently have over 100 uh, stores on HipSwap in Los Angeles. And uh, stores are very important to us because uh, we look at the marketplace as inventorying and indexing all of the stuff in your closet, in your home, and in, on your store shelves. Unique stuff, though. Not commodities, unique stuff. Uh, now, that works in Los Angeles where everything's a vintage store, from what I can tell. But does it work in other places? I mean, or do you have to just go to HIP? Like, basically, you're Austin. Well, San I'm from probably one of the least perceived HIP towns in America, which is um, Pittsburgh. Oh, that's it. <laughs> and um, there's it's some pretty HIP there. places there. So we think there's that there's, to your point about the bra, we think that there are really unique, sort of well curated uh, uh, inventory everywhere. I'm not uh, sure I would agree with the broaden comment. I think you know, you're going to have to make sure you are an attractive selling place for some set of items. So I would probably concentrate on a few specific items that are high frequency purchase, either high margin or high dollar point. So you have a sense of kind of what your top three to five items would be, yeah. you know, kind of given those parameters. So currently our, um, our average selling price is about $75. Uh, it's a combination of home decor and fashion. That's primarily where we've been focused. Um, we actually originally projected only 50, but it looks like that's scaling upwards. Um, the other thing is... Uh, are those large weight items that also require extra delivery costs? Right. Not? So the large weight items, we don't currently deliver the large weight items at the moment. Uh, we currently say on our website that we deliver, uh, if you can wear it or hold it comfortably in two hands, we'll deliver it, but we'll expand out that notion going forward. Yeah, my guess is, you know, becoming a destination marketplace is hard enough in the broadest sense. Even doing it, you know, for a niche category is probably difficult. So focusing on ones where you can make money and or, like, reduce costs but still have high frequency or high margin would be useful. I, I sort of agree with the branding thing. I, you know, it's a catchy name and I like the design and logo, but, you know, I'd identify the transactions or areas where you think you're, like, likely to generate highest revenue, lowest cost, and try and brand around that perhaps initially. Let's hear it for HipSwap.